Hello everybody, welcome back to my <laughs> welcome my, back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I have got this on, and I've got a shirt on, <laughs> and my denim jacket on to announce my involvement as a co-host in June on the Range. June on the Range. Yep. So um, basically, I was new at reading westerns. Uh, until two years ago when I took part in June on the Range for the first time. And uh, I know the first year I read um, Sisters Brothers, which is really good. And I think I read Shane two years ago as well. What did I read last year? I think I read, I read last, last year I read a load of small books, I think. Can't remember what I read last year, but I definitely got involved last year. But this year I'm actually a co-host, which is crazy. But there we are. Um, very cool, uh, and I'm very honoured to, uh, to, to to be a co-host, and I'm going to do my best to contribute in a meaningful way. Um, yeah, so I don't read a lot of Westerns, but I have really enjoyed this journey, uh, re reading Westerns. So Shane is fantastic. Oh, I know, last year I read True Grit. True Grit is fantastic. Definitely recommend you read True If you haven't read True Grit, definitely read True Grit. It's amazing. Such a brilliant book. So I'm going to just go over some of the books that I'm going to be reading this year. Well, that I might read this year. So just uh, a little bit about the event, actually. Um, so this is an event created by Michael K. Vaughan, uh, who's one of the best channels on Booktube. You probably know it already. Um, and he was suggesting that the Westerns were uh, a... A genre that wasn't appreciated enough, that people didn't read enough Western stuff. And it was a really big deal for a while, but nowadays it's not quite as celebrated. So lots of people got behind it and thought, actually, I haven't read Westerns before, let's, let's try it. And then lots of people enjoyed it, like I did. So it's a great idea. And uh, last year, he came up with some prompts that are actually going to be following forward for this year as well. And those prompts are literally... One, just read whatever Westerns you want if you want to. And then there was two prompts that he added, which was to read a book by Zane Grey and to read a book by Louis L'Amour. So, um, and then whatever else you want to read through the month of June. I have got a Zane Grey book here, which I haven't read yet. Boulder Dam. So I'll be reading Boulder Dam. Um, and that's, that's looking at it. It's a bit knackered, isn't it? Look at that. Poor old book. Um, this, uh, this cost me 50p. But yeah, Boulder Dam, Zane Grey. I read a Zane Grey book last year as well, actually, for definite. And, uh, and I thought he was a really good writer. I thought the way it was written was really good. So, um, it might have been the one. I read one book that had, um, Calamity Jane as one of the characters. But I can't remember what the book was. But anyway, Zane Grey, Boulder Dam. That's one I might read. Ralph's making some strange noises. Are you all right? And then um, I've got a book by Jack Schaefer. So Jack Schaefer wrote Shane. And Shane was fantastic. It really was a brilliant book. And this is called First Blood. And it's got on the bottom there, a vivid and violent Western by the greatest living Western author. First Blood. Okay, that's a great cover as well by Jack Schaefer. So if there's anything as good as Shane, I mean, Shane is such a good book. Um, so, uh, let me know if you've read this one. So I don't know if you've read other Jack Schaefer books, uh, but that'd be cool. And then in this little, little batch here, I'm also going to read a book that I bought last year, but I didn't get to called A Town Called Bastard. Um, or if you're Sean Bean, A Town Called Bastard, uh, because he's from up north. Um, but I'm from down south, so it'll be A Town Called Bastard, uh, Bastard. I don't say that enough on my channel, bastard. Uh, it's it's a fun it's a fun word to say. Um, it's almost as fun as bollocks, but not quite as fun. In the in the um, the ranking of words that are fun to say, uh, then I'd say bollocks is above that. Bastard is close. Uh, so a town called bastard town called Bastard, if you're from up north. And then um, I've also got two Richard Matheson books I wanted to show you, because I love Richard Matheson. You know I love Richard Matheson, if you've seen my channel before. 
Um, he is um, definitely uh, a contender for favourite author. And um, I have these two books here. And, and actually, there's one in the post as well, which um, I almost forgot about. But yeah, there is another book coming in the post. The one that coming from the um, arriving in the post in the next few days is this one. So that'd be really cool to read that. But I've also got Shadow on the Sun. This was actually given to me by Michael K. Vaughan, so that was pretty cool. Um, so I was very um, uh, grateful to get this off from him. Shadow of the Sun. Shadow on the Sun. And Evan's Novel of the West. See that one at the top? Um, so Shadow on the Sun. And then also this one, which I bought. I splashed out on this once. I thought it was a reasonable price because this has been so expensive on eBay and that. And a while back I bought this because I am going to have everything he's ever done eventually. And this was Journal of the Gun Years, um, Richard Matheson. Yeah. Um, it's, it's reflecting the books I've just put down there. Isn't that pretty? Um, so, Journal of the Gun Years, Richard Matheson. Um, and this is really, really lovely condition, actually. It's a really nice hardback that feels pretty brand new. But clearly it's not. Uh, this came out. When did this come out? This is this is perfect condition. So it was um, 1991. 1991. This looks like a first edition. This is the first edition. By this particular publisher. But anyway, yeah. Really, really nice condition. This is really, really awesome. Awesome. Richard Matheson. Journal of the Gun Years. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I could technically read all three Richard Matheson books in June, but I am going to be obviously juggling this with the um, uh, book trek and my general dive into science fiction, which which I've been neglecting a little lately uh, for horror and now for Westerns. So, uh, and let, you know, if I did that, uh, neglect it too, too much, then that would be a bastard, wouldn't it? Uh, so we don't want to do that. Um, anyway... Thank you for watching. Um, I I might even watch some Western films because they're awesome. Um, I could wax lyrical about The Magnificent Seven forever if you want one day. Maybe I could do a video about the different versions of The Magnificent Seven. Try and find Battle Beyond the Stars. That'd be funny. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, thank you for watching. Stay curious, everybody. See y'all. I know where you're going I won't follow you through You just sit there laughing